we have launched an initiative to deal with the vexing situation of abandoned and derelict vehicles throughout the city. Um, they're not safe for the community and as a result of that, we have launched an initiative to remove those vehicles in conjunction with Kent Motors and Urban Renewal of the Police Department. I'm Ronald Butler. Part of my job is to keep Grand Bahama clean and derelict vehicles like these needs to be removed. This is a two-step process starting with the seven-day violation notice asking owners to please have the vehicle removed within seven days. Step two is the legal process where we put a notice in the papers and on the vehicle. This gives the owner 21 days to have the vehicle removed before we have the authority to remove it. If you feel your vehicle has value, don't let this happen to you. My name is Gregory Sanders. I'm the Senior Plumbing Inspector here at the GBPA. I've been here for only 7,786 days, which is a third of my lifespan. That, that is equivalent to only 21 years and four months. My job here is to ensure that all of you plumbers maintain a very high standard. Building on the great successes of last year, the Grand Bahama Port Authority is not only interested in bringing in new business, but also we are ensuring our population is tech savvy. Just this past December, Alex Cameron, coding consultant, began training students to meet the demands of the future. In a hands-on approach, President Ian Roll takes part in one of the first coding classes held at Sunland Baptist Academy. We are looking forward to continuing these educational initiatives in Grand Bahama schools.